So this is going to be episode four of Hell of a Boss, titled Cherub, spelled out like an acronym. So I, Cherub are those the, the the babies with wings in the Bible. I don't really know what they do, uh, in the actual like religious text, but. I'm wondering if this is going to be like the hell counterpart to them. If any of you have seen Artemis Fowl or have read the books, which I reckon the books, not so much the movie, I uh, it makes me think of Leprechaun, uh, the police task force of the fairy world, and I'm wondering if that's going to be basically what these represent. So let's jump in. Could be way off base. I can't hear anything. Ah, that would be why it wasn't. Oh. If something good to get here, and good people deserve to give loved ones special blessings. Didn't think we'd be seeing heaven for a long time. <laughs> is this like? This is the opposite of imp. Oh my god, it's the opposite of imp. No. Got it. So these are basically guardian angels. C H E R U B. Give me another mox. Not feeling it. Wait. They get hired to kill somebody from hell by someone in hell who wants them dead, but someone in heaven wants them alive, so that person contracts them to be saved. These they, they could end up in contest with C H E R U B. Oh no! Are they allowed to show that? Not the uh, the, not the, the sexual aspect. I just mean the character. Oh man. She falling asleep. Do you feel that? Oh shit, is that a hell shake? That's possible. All right! Don't panic, Moxie! I'm not panicking because hell quakes don't happen. Stop getting hysterical! Hey. Whoa! <laughs> she just wanted to hit him totally. Oh hey! Don't be afraid. And please tell uh, me you got that insurance thing. Who are you and what do you want? I am Loopy just the inventor of all things Loopy and Loopy. Got it. Just use the door, dude. Guy from the TV? Perhaps? I am eccentric and must therefore do eccentric shit. Let's, yeah, let's take a look at him again. Because obviously he's probably going to be become important, but... Yeah, he's got the mustache, too. Some kind of disguise? Oh, this old Oops. Dusted the inventor of all things loopy and loopish. You could have just used the door, dude. Doesn't need to be this whole thing. <laughs> I am eccentric and must therefore do eccentric shit. Oh, this old fuck reeks of the living world. Did you just die? Yes, moments ago in fact, which is what brought me here. Just saying. <laughs> Did you just die? Yes! I swear I've heard that voice before. Door would have gotten you here for <laughs> Shut up, dear furry. This is I'm gonna need you to kill. Not even a shit's length of time in hell and already plotting revenge. I can respect a man with that sort of passion. I'm blessed. <laughs> what oh how are you gonna pay for it? What's the tea, sis? The tea? Guys, you just got to hell. How do you have any money? This guy, I mean, what did he do to you? He was my business partner. You see. I was not always an old man. My partner Lyle and I ran Lyle Luffy Robotics, a technological <laughs> empire. Okay. Here today we were testing a new machine intended to stop or reverse the aging process. 
So is the other guy, perhaps his partner that he doesn't know already died? Like we usually do. We were too sure of our own genius. But the machine was accidentally set forward. <laughs> the time we managed to get out, it was too late. At least for me. Aw. That does suck. Now that evil son of a bitch is going to take over the empire we built together. Without me to share it with, he'll make all the goddamn money in the world and become the fourth trillionaire and get all of <laughs> Yeah, that's not really evil. It's evil towards me. Everything is going dark. Now get your crimson asses up above. Somebody help him. No Mood board. Where he belongs. Hey, the horse was on there. Of course, of course. If we do kill him, though, and he ends up down here, you know, you will be stuck with him forever. Oh, trust me. I'm counting on it. <laughs> I'm hot. Gee, I wonder whose house this is. And to your right is the home of famous inventor Lyle Lipton. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do it, gang. This is their disguise. <laughs> oh, uh, she looks great. About to attempt to murder. <laughs> Three like this could happen to famous people all the time. <laughs> Three wow, tacky stalkers. Really need a number on him. Goodbye, my one true love. <laughs> wait, wait. Free stock photos. Oh, of money. He didn't even spend it on the- He didn't even pay for the stock photo. He's that stingy. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. There's a- there's a guy, um, very similar to this, who is, uh, the character of Scrooge McDuck was based on. <laughs> uh, real world. Uh, mega millionaire. I don't think he was a billionaire. This was before billionaires were really a thing because of inflation and all that and growing power of rich people. <laughs> That's what this is making me think of. He was so stingy that he was known for stealing like turnips from people so he wouldn't have to buy them himself and things like that. Tis of the world can't fill the emptiness I'm feeling now that my shitty old body can't do anything of value. Oh, fantastic! He's gonna do our job for us. Does that count? Oh, oh, he's, he, I got it. Go Is still, does that count? <laughs> oh, no! Go cherub, yes! Or C H E R U B. by ugly orphan children now. Who the fuck are they? Oh no. Sir, those are cherubs, Mr. Lyle. I hate filthy, stinking orphan children. We're here to convince you not to kill yourself, sir. To grant you a blessing on behalf of those in heaven benefited by your amazing technological advances. Oh, no, hey. the character of Ebenezer Scrooge was based on that guy. And later on, Scrooge McDuck was based on it. Ebenezer Scrooge. I had... I skipped the more famous person for the duck. I mean, what do you expect to do with all this money now you're old? So now I'm thinking of uh, the ghosts of Christmas uh, right now. Yeah, that's a bad, that's a bad focus. And be so fulfilled. Oh, no. He could pay for new hospitals and schools. Why won't you let me die? Oh, sounds like you need help off in yourself there. <laughs> what do you got for this fella? I have some assault weapons, crossbow, hunting bow, tommy gun, old-fashioned shotgun, revolvers in three colors, chainsaws, katanas. So prepared, Moxie. There are still plenty of reasons to live, Mr. Lyle. Yeah, right. Smells like he ain't been out of bed in months. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh. Can he not just get back in the machine and turn himself younger? Mm-hmm. You gonna buy that load of 
shit from a baby and the sheep it fucks? That is so inappropriate! Yeah, that's no, kinda that's right. his whole deal. Anyway, Aww! <laughs> I kinda like them, so... There is no picnic up close. Wow! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> what? <laughs> even even Blitz was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> oh Lord, where are we now? Oh, let me perish! We're here to show you another thing life is worth living for: childhood wonderment. Why? Look at those sweet, disease-ridden vermin. Their joy comes from innocence unspoiled by the burdens of adulthood and their middle-class existence. Such simple joy they have. Ugh. It is inspiring. Thank you for showing me this. Hey, dipshit! Want to see whose lap you're sitting on? It's... <laughs> Ah, for a second, I thought they were gonna go for like the joke, like, "Oh, it's really Santa Claus!" Shit. Of <laughs> the lovers, look out, sir! We're here to remind you about possibly life's greatest joy of all. Money. No. Love. <laughs> I've never been in love before. We except with money. Nice. It's not too late, sir. You can still find. <laughs> nice try, ugly. Hey, horny lovers! Which one of you would fuck this old man? Oh. You know you three are so for money. I'll drive back. Trying to give hope to someone in need. Oh, and you three are so superior to us just because we want some selfish, greedy, authoritarian capitalist to keel over dead. That's amazing. You're making things too real now, Moxie. Ah, ah. Oh, with the piss. Ah. Is C H E R U B gonna become evil by the end of this? We can't. There's literally nothing bad about opera. That's fact. Unless we ruin it somehow. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's her fault. Just worry about your performance, not the light. Ah! Ah! I mean, to be fair, uh, half of them, they didn't even have to do anything. We are saving that shitty old man's life, whether he wants it or not! Well, someone wants that fucker dead, and he paid in advance, and I spent it all on this. So he's gotta go! You are all such disgusting, loathsome beasts! Your kind is nothing but dirt that shitty dead people tread on! And well, now damn. you're trying to meddle with the lives of humans?! That's racist. Shut your trap, you judgmental cotton candy, tit having bitch. Filthy <laughs> This is so cool with the opera music in the background. Demon ends and, uh, not angels, but they're facing off. Imps and cherubs, baby. Oh. Fair enough. Oh, with the spin move. It's all starting to make sense now. Life is worth living because we only get one. We must cherish it. If creatures far beyond this living world are going through these lengths over Ugh. life, then suddenly it's worth living. Killing myself is not the answer. Plus, Darn. I'm still rich. I could just buy all the things. I no longer crave death. Get shot. <laughs> you gotta learn to count. What a professional. Ha 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 ha! 
No! It moved. <laughs> Would you look at that? He didn't you die. It did our job for us. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my god. Get a hold of yourself, Colin, and do not use the Lord's name in vain. He said gosh. Unless the god in this world is named Gosh, that'd be funny. But I'm afraid your actions resulted in the death of a human. I'm afraid you can't re-enter heaven. Yeah, Whoa. No. Whoa. Yeah. Mm, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything we can do? Go to hell. No. 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 Oh. No. <laughs> anyway, guys, but those are the rules. Yeah. Bye. Wait. <laughs> well darn. The old man wanted to live again, and we didn't kill him, so we failed. Thanks to those fucking cherubs, he's probably up in heaven now. So it's a shame. I mean, All our client wanted was eternal revenge on his business partner, and now the two are forever separated. And now we gotta face the fire of fucking up, sir. When are you going to tell the client? Oh, I already sent him a text, and we're in good hands, because texts don't make people angry. <laughs> <laughs> he is, is still in hell, though, isn't he? I was... Ah! Ah! Wild I don't understand. We thought you went to heaven. Heaven? Yeah, he's still not a... technological advances and robotics by not experimenting on the poor. <laughs> Wow. Oh, good heartless son of a bitch. Thank you for reuniting me with my best friend. The only question now is what do two old genius robotic inventors do now that we're in hell? Did someone say I say in Oh, I was really figuring it was going to turn out that he was one of them somehow and it was an elaborate con. I mean implore. Everyone, stop fucking up my walls! Moxie's gonna have to fix all this shit! No! Now chill out, Moxie. If you kiss my ass any harder, you'll go right inside me. Satan's balls! First we deal with heaven's table scraps, now this? I guess you can say you say you have a holy operation here, Blitzo! <laughs> oh, no! Get out. <laughs> oh, I this was my after uh Lulu Land, this was my favorite episode. <laughs> Just bombastic in nature. It's fun. We have to see the cherubs again. I'd be a little upset if we never did, because I actually did kind of like them. Oh no. Well, we'll get we'll we'll get to them, I guess, at the end. Go through the credits now. Produced, created, and directed by Vivian Madrano, edited by Mar Maritza Madrano and Vivian Madrano. Written by Brandon Rogers and Vivian Madrano. Casting and voice production by Horseless Cowboy. Casting director and executive producer, Timothy Cubison. Producer, Austin Snyder. Voice director, Richard Horvitz. Casting associate, Brenda Marie Phillips. Associate producers, Lizzie Michael. Christina Diamantara. As dialogue recordists, Matteo Bergen. Yao Vlitman. Interns, Anika Hassan. Christopher Meyer. Ryan Trainer and Seth Humrick. Voice production coordinator was Garrett Hansen. Audio QA was Stephanie Kamuri and Jake K Gaskill. Dialogue editors were Cesar Marenko and Belinda Huang. Starring Brandon Rogers as Blitzo. Blitz. Starring the voices of Richard Horvitz as Moxie, Vivian Nixon as Millie, Erica Lindbeck as Luna. Featuring the voices of Don Daryl Rivera as Cletus and Wally, Jaden Libron as Colin, Vivian Madrano as Keeney and Deary. Cool. Michael James Ruacco as Lyle Lipton, Courtney Rain Taylor as Opera Singer. Additional voices were at Maxwell Adams, Dashell 
Megaha Schleder, Jinx Monsoon, Juliana Sada, Mara Wilson. Where did she appear? Cool, though. Uh, Loopty Goopty. Oh, no, she was in the beginning. That's right. No, she wasn't. Where did she appear? Obviously, she was uh, the school teacher from the first episode. I knew that much. Hmm. Loopty Goopty, Brandon Rogers. Story about a. Yeah, that. Wait, 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 wait a second. Hmm. Odd. Ah! Getting ahead. I failed! Here we go. Story about it by Paul Villico, Kyle Bullock, Thomas Brooks, Seth Anderholm, additional and beat boards by Al Poon. Revisionist for Vivian Madrano and Veronica Gallardo. Animation supervisor was Sky Henwood. Character animation lead was Amy Hurd. FX supervisor was Silk, Kerken, Zarni. FX was Hussein Untaro. Andrew Stadler. Silk, Kerken, Ker Zarni. Jason Vulvet. Mandy Lee. Marla White. Animators were Amy Hurd, Ashley Caballero. Caballero. Tommy Murray. Tom Murray. Tom Murray. Yizen Ho. Diego Mejia Pacheco. Victor Garrido. Teo Yi Hang. Greg McMahon. Austin Kalista. Kevin Ryan. Felipa Borman. Crescent Rhodes. Julius Skull. Ari Grab. Sebastian Velasquez Fajardo. Eric Sevchenko. David Hernandez Alvarado. Alvarado. Kimmy King. Caden Westbrook, Logan Niblock, Sky Henwood, Melanie Cro Melanie wrote Melanie Mrozek, Carolina Paez, Rafael Coich Rivera, Zach Wood. Cleanup was Gabriel Perez Val, Brandon Isla Madrigal, Emiliano Ronghel, Julio Marquez P, Tom Murray, Alma Pereira, Adolfo Rodriguez, Kevin Martinez Bringas, Benjamin Santiago Avia, Victoria Void. Stephen Dorian, Crescent Rhodes, Michelle Garcia, Alpuin, Dennis Snani Moreno, Samantha Ambriz, Ambriz, Vlada Shianova, Colton Siemens, Joey Andrade, Diego Mejia Pacheco, Eddie Mead, Daniel Hoyo, Matthew Mortetti, Sarah Carmichael, Sterling Scarlett Richter, awesome, Nicole Hernandez Perdomo, Matil. Just her actual name. I was like, Mara Wilson. <laughs> Matilda Segura. Kane Daly. Nicholas Contreras. Gilzine Bubbles de Ramos. Anthony Wyatt. Jacob McCaw. Vlad Eskov. Signe Digmar Schlederman. Ben Magnum. Paul Leon Twix. Bennett Joy Flores. And Emily Echeverria. Backgrounds were Kelsey McMaines. Luke Young, Amanda Hurd, Yale Gilbert, Jane Walker, Benjamin Santiago A, Rebecca Reynolds, Vivian Madrano, Riley Schmitz, Fu Jingling, Pu Jingling, I hope, Kira Onu, Celine and R. Guerra, Veronica Glitteronin, Cardenas, Erica Rodriguez Garcia, Background lead was Sam Miller. Prop and character design lead was Jane Walker. Character design was Cecilia Con Cecilia Callis Kincalves, Vivian Madrano, Gooseworks, and Aaron Frost. Viz Dev, color and prop design. Vivian Madrano, Aaron Frost, Benjamin Santiago Villa. Sam Miller, Cecilia Callis Kincalves. Post production audio services was Atlas Oceanic Sound. Re-recording mixer and sound and sound supervisor was George Peters. Sound designer was Rob Hargraves and Kennedy Phillips. Studio manager was Kim Bowman. Sound editor was Kennedy Phillips. Music by Jefferson Friedman with Matt Novak and Christopher French. C H E R U B jingle was written by Perry Grip, performed by Vivian Madrano, Don Darrell, Rivera, and Jaden LeBron. Compositing was Colton Siemens, Michael Boggs, Mel Lee, Emily Abeya, M Caitlin Chow, Eddie Mead, Lindsay Weisner, Chris Graveland. Motion graphics were Michael Boggs, Chris Graveland. Lead compositor was Sarah Serval Fisher. 
Special thanks to Anna Nalen, Amin Elgarch, Crystal Laporte, and Christopher Aries, Scratch Audio, Ingrid Schnell, Allison Maritza, and Anna Madrano, Brandon Grikas, and the Patreon supporters. Spindle Horse. In loving memory of Adriana Margarita Rodriguez Hernandez. I think that's the same person. I'm gonna look this person up. It's a shame. Wonder if it's a family member or someone who worked on the project or a friend. I couldn't turn them up with a quick Google search. Whoever they are, sorry for the loss of the crew. It was a great episode, though, so... I guess I'll see you guys next time.